Modeling is a process that uses math to represent, analyze, make predictions, or otherwise provide insight into real-world phenomena. Once you've built your model, you'll find that getting a solution is pretty exciting. Here's where you get the first glimpse of your results. Simply stated, getting a solution is digging into your math toolbox to find the pieces that will get you an answer to your problem. Getting a solution is, I feel, mostly using your variables that you have and the numbers that you come up with to match the variables and putting that into a model that can reflect what you believe should happen. You can find a solution using almost any kind of math. Modelers use every tool at their disposal to calculate solutions, from pencil and paper to advanced computer software. What we found that we use most in our model was Algebra 2, maybe Algebra 1 even, which was interesting because it shows that we revert to what was most comfortable to us and basic math was most comfortable for us. Math-wise, the skills of using MATLAB are the programming skills and statistics. These are the two like, major skills we're using. Well, we've been using a lot of things we learned in pre-calc, like regressions. So taking a set numbers, a lot of data points, and then finding the line of best fit, which is not always even a line. We have like curves of best fit. And also using like statistical analysis, using means, medians, finding frequencies, and exactly how much standard deviation there is from the expected values. We are using linear functions, parabolas, and we are using ideas of calculus. You'll find many ways to answer an open-ended mathematical question. For example, Suppose you need to determine how acid rain impacts water resources in your state. You arrive at a problem. Where should water be extracted for use? One approach might involve a simple table that ranks water sources by levels of toxicity. More complicated equations may also be used. For example, creating a scorecard for each water source or eliminating sites based on other criteria. But remember, Finding a solution involves as much creativity as it does math. It's kind of like your own ideas that you hone down and polish and eventually see in like this real world application. So it's not only fun to like find and eventually like hone down, but it's also fun to see your hard work being put to real work. The best part about getting a solution is the chance to see if your model makes sense with your original problem. Here's how to make sure you're on the right track. Build your solution using software tools or the mathematics you already know. You might discover more than one way to tackle a problem. Be open. Different methods can lead to solutions of a different nature. Experiment to see what solution most directly addresses your question. Finding a solution is where you'll first discover if you've really addressed your problem statement. If you haven't, don't let it rain on your parade. Simply go back to your math toolkit ask yourself some questions, and reassess in order to get closer to a solution that works. For more information on mathematical modeling, log on to m3challenge.siam.org.